Hey everyone, I'm Sarah Hicks, and here's this week's edition of Your News Micro. Firefighters work to stop the Jake fire from spreading any further. Following the conflicts between Armenia and Azerbaijan, there have been numerous protests spreading awareness and advocating for the Armenian people. Here's Colin Ferguson for more information. Armenians united will never be divided! On Saturday, Santa Clarita City Hall was another site for Armenian protesters who are spreading awareness of the Nagorno-Karabakh conflict between Armenia and Azerbaijan. This comes after an agreed-upon ceasefire between the two sides was broken almost immediately after going into effect. Armenian Santa Clarita residents Sierra Tigranian and Lucy Dermidzian are doing their part to spread awareness of the war. We are definitely um, victims of aggressors in the region. Mm -hmm. Aggressors meaning Karab are, um, Azerbaijan and Turkey. Mm -hmm. They are attacking uh, small villages, schools, um, factories, churches. Nagorno-Karabakh, also known as Artsakh, is a small enclave that lies between Armenia and Azerbaijan. The region had indigenous people that called for their independence from Azerbaijan and to unify with Armenia in the late 1980s. Since then, there has been bloodshed on both sides. Roger Dominion and David Chakkerian, two of the founding members of the Armenian Business Owners Association, have sought to unite the Armenian community of Santa Clarita's businesses and families during these dark times. You know, I am a big believer in uh, relationships. I think in business, the word relationships is essential. I'm, I'm always uh, uh, teaching and consulting and, and, and uh, helping others establish relationship. But the Armenian community out here wasn't doing much of that, so I thought it's a great Idea. So that was my biggest motivational factor. We have friends and contacts actually in the region. So we get a lot of news that you don't see in our media, that you don't see on the internet of, uh, you know, innocent civilians being killed because uh, residential areas, civilian areas are being bombed by Azerbaijan. So a lot of people are getting hurt and displaced as a result of this. Turkey has sought to help Azerbaijan by providing military support to the country. Recep Tayyip Erdogan, the current president of Turkey denounced the idea of peace and stated, our Azerbaijani brothers are now waiting for the day they will return to their land. Chakerian, Dominion, Tigranian, and Dermidzian have all been tragically affected by this war and are asking for residents to speak to their political leaders, be vigilant about what they read, and support Armenians locally and abroad. I'm a little bit emotional about this. Uh, I don't want I don't want what's happening right now to happen, and it's happening, so. A lot of people are dying. We're doing everything we can to stop that. Please educate yourself and donate if possible. We really need your help right now. My family in Armenia really needs your help right now. To see the list of Armenian-owned businesses in Santa Clarita, go to aboausa.com slash founding dash members. And to support the country of Armenia, go to armeniafund.org for more info. With Canyons News, I'm Colin Ferguson. With this upcoming presidential election just around the corner, Jackie Cardenas speaks with first-time voters to gain perspective on how they feel. Let's take it over to Jackie. The elections are only a few weeks away, and with it being one of the biggest in recent memory, there are questions that are begging to be answered. As a first-time voter, I think I'm mostly focused on hearing about health care reform and um, tax reform. Carmen wants to encourage everyone that they need to get out and vote. Every voice counts. It's not enough to just complain about how things are. I feel like it's our responsibility to go out there and voice our opinions. Director of Civic Engagement, Patty Robinson, is a huge part of getting the community engaged in voting. Robinson, has put together a team that's goal is to reach out and educate everyone on voting in Santa Clarita during a pivotal year. Every voice matters. And until people understand that, you know, if you don't like what's going on, then the only way, at least at this point in time, that we really have that, that the biggest way or say to make a difference is through, through the political process. October 19 is the deadline to register. And don't forget to get your votes in by Tuesday, November 3rd. Go to registertovote.ca.gov for information on how to register and to check your registration status. For Canyons News, this is Jacqueline Cardenas. That is a wrap for this edition of Your News Micro. Be sure to follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Thank you and be sure to tune in next time. I'm Sarah Hicks with Canyons News.